for tuning in to another Carolina shore fishing adventure. Today we're on Spring Made Pier and I'm going to be showcasing the Rod Rocker. It's actually made here in North Carolina and I had this sent out to me. I really wanted to test it out for you guys and give you my honest opinion on it. And you know, long story short, I do have part of it sitting at the bottom of the ocean. We'll get to that here in a moment. I do think it's a great product. Um, but we'll see uh, what I think could be improved on it as well. So the rod rocker has four parts to it. You've got your rod mount and then you've got the pier mount and there are two hose clamps that attach the rod mount to the rod. And um, that's where I think there could be a little bit of improvement is the rod mount. I think that the two little edges could be flared out to sort of um, secure the hose clamps on the rod and not allow them to slip off. And that's actually what you'll see uh, happen here for me. Um, I actually get sharked a, a couple times. I'm not sure what's my problem here. I'm fishing for mackerel. I'm always catching sharks. Fishing for drum. I'm always catching sharks. Maybe it's just a South Carolina thing. Who knows? But anyways, that's what ends up happening. Two hookups on sharks basically before I ever get to see a Spanish on this thing. And it sends the rod mount down into the ocean. Otherwise, I think it's an incredible product for what it is and what it does. Um, there is no weight anymore on you uh, rocking that rod. It's all set up to be distributed through the mounts onto the pier. And you can sit there and rock that rod all day long without feeling a single thing. And sorry I don't have the actual audio on this. The wind was pretty bad and it was hitting the mic. And I don't think you guys would enjoy hearing that over my beautiful voice, right? So anyways, this is where I end up catching the first shark. Well, I don't catch it, but I do hook the first shark. And then right after that comes the second shark that causes me to drop the little rod mount into the bottom of the ocean. And that was that for rod rocking. So now I get to try out my new rod, which I'm using for casting spoons and gotchas off the pier. It's a Star Rod Stellar Light 7 foot, and it's rated to throw half ounce to one and a half ounce. Perfect for what it's for. Because of the conditions, the Spanish were just here and there, and due to that, I didn't have my camera rolling all the time, and unfortunately, I only caught a few of the catches on camera, but what you saw in that picture before this was my full catch for that day. I'm tying on a mackerel tree right here. I made this myself. It's got three or four straws on there about, and a sting silver on the bottom. And yes, that is a grill cover on top of my cart there, keeping it dry. This is a tip given to us from our sponsor, Salty Sandals, down in Surfside Beach, South Carolina. This is a great moment to give them a shout out. They actually help make a lot of these videos possible for us, and they give us a lot of support. So I hope that you guys will go and show them some love. So the way I work this rig is I'll cast it out and then let it hit the bottom or near bottom and sort of pop it up kind of like I'm jigging. And you'll see at the end when I get it to the pier I'll just jig it for a while. And so that's what you see me doing right here and I actually get a lot of my hookups like this. Just like this shark which is going to pull me under the pier, wrap me around a piling and mm, tax me.
a bonus catch and cook here we're gonna go ahead and clean up the fish remove the bloodline and remove the skin you can see I haven't filleted a fish or cleaned one in months now so this first one is a little practice give me a little slack here and we're gonna season up our fish real nice we're gonna put them in the oven bake them at 370 for 25 minutes Then we're going to prepare a nice cilantro lime rice to go with it and a little bit of cucumber salad with some parsley in it. Let's get to it. Now we'll go in with a little bit of seasoning. We'll start with some salt and pepper. And this is just some homemade blackening seasoning. If you want to see how that was made, go ahead and check out the Red Drum Blackening Catch and Cook video that I got. And now a little bit of onion and garlic powder.
and this is just some Italian herb and some fresh garlic. Thank you.